he and Mario Puzo, who together had written the previous two Godfather movies, teamed up again to write part three. In it, Don Michael Corleone attempts to remove himself and his family from the world of crime. But the further he tries to get away, the more fate draws him back in. Just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. I didn't obviously uh, want to just repeat myself on all three films, and there is there is some irony of a tragic character whose tragic flaw is the fact that he wants to be good in a, in, or wants to be legitimate in a world that is not legitimate. So the higher he went, thinking he was climbing out of the corruption, he was really only climbing more into it. And there was something true about that uh, since since the real mafia isn't so much a bunch of Italian gangsters, but rather the highest level of power in society that is behind closed doors, those people who really own and run corporations or who run political parties and, and the like. Along with Al Pacino as Don Michael Corleone, Diane Keaton returned as his wife Kay, with Talia Shire, who is Francis Coppola's sister, as Connie. Also returning was Coppola's daughter, Sophia, this time as Michael's daughter. In the original Godfather, she appeared in the christening scene as his baby niece. One of the attractions of doing the film after 16 years is, you know, how rarely do you get the chance to work with actors who are playing young people while they're young and then old people when they're older. Uh, and so that was very appealing to try to invite them back. Uh, in some cases, it was tough because, you know, Diane Keaton didn't particularly want to have to be an age even older than she was, and uh, neither did Al, for that matter. He still thinks of himself as a sex symbol, you know, for young girls, so getting him to cut his hair and what have you. But ultimately, of course, they, they saw that there was an opportunity for them. It was like one of the few cases where the actors used real life and age as makeup. <laughs> it was the wrong decision. I command this family, right or wrong. It was not what I wanted! Here they are, in the thrilling final chapter of the greatest gangster saga of them all, The Godfather, Part Three. Next week, director Francis Ford Coppola returns with The Rain People, the movie makers, Tuesday night at 10 on Sky Cinema. What do you get from the man who has everything? What you hear. It's a game. A game. Admit to yourself that it sounds intriguing. What do you think? I have a gun! It means nothing. Open the goddamn gun! Play the game. Who did this to me? Why? Hold on. Or die. From the director of Seven. No! Starring Michael Douglas and Sean Penn in the first showing of the game, coming soon on Sky Premiere. The biggest films every Saturday night, guaranteed.